All right, welcome back. So today we want to go over with the new range two, the do's and the don'ts of using it. Obviously range, just like the original, was meant for scanning very large objects. So range two, same idea. Good example of a large object here is the whale. But by no means is this the largest object you can scan with range. This is a good starting reference. It really can scan even something as large as a car, motorcycle, household furniture, anything within that range. But let's give it a try. Let's just see how it turns out. I'll scan this using color mode and we'll see how it comes out with details. All right, let's process this. One click editing. And again, we're looking to see how the details turn out. This is a good starting point for range two, the size of the whale here. We wanna see how it does with capturing the details. For, for instance, in the the waves here has some good contour, it's fins. Here we go. Here's the results. Did a nice job. See a good contour with the waves. The whale's fins turned out nice, color is nice. So no problem with an object of this size with range two. But now let's see how it does with the mid range. Cause it's not necessarily meant for mid range, but let's see if it can handle the task. All right, so we just got done scanning the whale for a good example of scanning a larger object with range two. Now we wanna see how range two does with a mid-range object. You know, maybe something of this size, the pineapple would really be ideal for the pop series, but can range two handle it? I guess the biggest things we're gonna be noticing is how it does with the color and how it does with capturing the texture and the details of this pineapple. Let's try it out. All right, let's edit this, see how it turns out. Okay, here we go. So honestly, color-wise, Range 2 did a great job with the pineapple still. Detail, also not too bad. But again, if you're using one of the pop series scanners, would do a better job capturing these, this detail. But not too bad. So now we wanna compare if you actually can scan something as small as this guy, little astronaut with the range two. Okay, so again, we wanna try to put range two to the test with something as small as this little astronaut. We just compared large object with a whale, mid-range with the pineapple. I'm a little leery about this, but of course this is why we're doing the do's and the don'ts of using range two. Can it actually handle something as small as this? And if it can handle it, how are the details gonna be? So let's try it out. All right. Let's edit it, see how it does. Well, that's pretty crazy, honestly. <laughs> so it didn't do the best. As you can see, it didn't capture the correct uh, shape of the astronaut. 
So this is a good example of a don't. You don't want to necessarily scan something as small as that with range two. It's really appropriate for mini or the pop series, but ultimately mini, because even the shit where it did capture the shape okay, it's still kind of pretty smoothed out. You don't see any of the rich details. So there you have it. So good to know, range two do's and don'ts. Large objects like the whale, and by no means is this the largest, as I mentioned earlier, anything up to a car, motorcycle, household furniture, awesome for range too. Capture the detail fantastically. But then you have something more mid-range, great for the pop series, this pineapple, still did okay. So you can use range two for this, but maybe some of the detail was missing that would be there with the pop series. But when you went down to something as small as the astronaut, range two didn't quite capture, didn't really accomplish what we wanted to. So stick with mini for something as small as this.